Hello everyone, it's Gabrielle, and today I'm going to be talking about something that I think a lot of people are going to be pissed off about, and I'm talking about the transphobes out there, the people who want me to disappear, but I'm not going anywhere. So I wanted to talk about if, you know, you decide to be trans or not, and I say you don't. Some people may decide, everyone's different, but I know that subconsciously, I was always female. I all I now I know because when I was four years old, four, and I know it was four years old because I remember the setting of this dream and I this dream is in my head forever. So basically it was in my kindergarten classroom and this was not a recent dream. This was literally when I was four years old. And yeah, so it was in my kindergarten classroom and I was surrounded by a whole bunch of my brother's friends and I remember very, very faintly just standing there and it was like, I just felt weird. I felt out of place and I was just like, oh, this is, this is bizarre. So my brother in this dream, he like touched my hair and I had short hair when I was a little kid. I, I'll probably insert a picture or something, but my hair was not this long. It was shorter and he went like this to my hair and it, it became really long. I mean, it looked like a cheap, really, really cheap blonde wig. It looked like a really cheap blonde wig, but then I had this pink dress on it and it just looked like it was from like a costume store for Halloween or something. And then I woke up from that dream and I just never really thought anything of it because I'm like four years old. I don't know what's going on in the world. I don't sure as hell didn't know what was going on with me. But now that I look back on it, that was always there. But I think I was just literally just too dumb <laughs> to actually understand it. But now that I look back on it, I'm just like, whoa, that was always there. Like, I was always like that. I always had that female brain and I always, I always knew that's who I was. But it just took me a long time to actually consciously understand the fact that, okay, I'm trans and this is, this is the way it is and this is how it's gonna be. For everyone out there saying that, you know, you choose to be trans, no, you don't. Because it's always been there for me and even my mom has said it that I, I'm pretty sure she said I came up to her one day and asked her, when am I gonna be a girl? Or like, why don't I have, I don't know, it was something like that, but I don't remember it because I was like four, but I remember this dream, really weird. But yeah, so for all the people out there saying, oh, you know, you don't know you're trans, you choose to be trans, no. You choose to be narrow-minded and you choose to uh, think that you know a trans person better than they know themselves, so. Toodles. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and I'll be back with another video very soon.